we will now demonstrate the procedure for aseptic scan preparation and access of the implanted port, as well as the procedure for deaccessing the port. The procedure has been explained to the patient. The nurse has washed her hands and dried with paper towels. The skin is palpated over the port site to locate the septum. Next, the skin is scrubbed with soap and water and dried with a paper towel. Supplies have been assembled on a clean, dry surface. Remove the air from a saline flush by holding it in a vertical position, pulling back slightly on the plunger, then depressing the plunger to expel the air. The flush is attached to a positive pressure cap. And holding the cap inverted, the cap is primed with flush solution, tapping the cap to release any trapped air. Open the non-corn needle package. Leaving the set in the package, attach the cap to the end of the port needle tubing. Prime the port needle tubing while it's still inside its own package. Set aside for later use. The dressing kit has been opened and supplies have been assembled and a mask is placed on the patient and on the nurse. At this time, a pair of sterile gloves is put on. Alcohol swab sticks are used to cleanse the site to defat the skin and move, remove any adhesive from the previous dressing. The chloroprep swab stick is activated by squeezing the handles on each side and patting the palm of the sterile glove to soak the pad with solution. Using firm pressure, scrub the skin around the catheter exit site, covering an area equal to the transparent outer dressing. The site is scrubbed for 30 seconds and allowed to dry for a full 60 seconds. The outer dressing will adhere better if the chloroprep is allowed to dry thoroughly. Holding the port access needle in the dominant hand, remove the cover from the needle. Locate the port borders and stabilize the port with the non-dominant hand. Insert the needle firmly through the skin and port septum until the needle touches the back of the port septum. Check for proper needle placement by aspirating for blood with the flush syringe. Flush the port with 10 milliliters of saline using a push-pause motion and stopping before the last half milliliter is inserted. If administering medication, proceed with the infusion. If performing the monthly maintenance flush, insert 5 milliliters of the 100 unit per mil heparin if it is an open end port. If the needle is to be left in place for infusions, remove the white handle on the top of the port needle by pinching the wings together. Secure the needle with steri strips, then cover with a transparent dressing. It is important that the port needle not be rocked or rotated once it is inserted. Skin prep may be used prior to the application of the transparent dressing if desired. Apply a strip of tape to the bottom of the transparent dressing where the tubing exits from the dressing. This keeps it from pulling loose in this area. Document the procedure in your progress notes. This completes the procedure for accessing the implanted port.